Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Friday the 19th into Saturday the 20th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, right? Okay, it is. This could happen today, tomorrow, yesterday, next week, last week, whatever. This is for all signs, but this reading is for somebody. I don't know who. Might not be for you. Okay. So let's see what comes up. I focus on love, which you guys, most of you all know. Ooh, yikes. So somebody has to make a decision. There's, this, there's some sort of painful decision that you've been blocking you're not making the decision that you need to make in denial in denial somebody has been avoiding something Somebody has been reluctant to move on from an insecure situation, right? Why? It's insecure. There's an opportunity to come out of this, to walk away from it, to move away from it. But if you live in a state of denial, you stay stuck. You stay stuck. Somebody really needs to take a time to reflect. Really, really, really reflect. Really go within, dig deep, dig deep. Because not accepting the truth is only going to prolong the pain, right? You really need to refocus. What is it? that you are burying and blocking? What emotion is it that you are refusing to deal with? It's time to go within and become aware of what it is that you are lying to yourself about whatever it, somebody is lying to themselves about something, truthfully, okay? And you, it, it's really time to step back and focus, become aware of what that is, and take that mask off and accept it and deal with it. Queen of Coins on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Virgo here. You know, where's the rest of them? They're here. They're here. They're mixed in. So this is for everybody. But um, Not moving on from whatever this is that you need to move on from. By staying where you're at. By pretending that whatever is going to, you know, somebody is blocking the truth. Pretending that what they're thinking of and what they want is going to come around. Okay, somebody is in denial thinking that Whatever it is that they're holding on to is going to pan out, okay? But the fact of the matter is, it's never going to bring you the happiness. 
You're never going to get what you want out of it. You have an opportunity to cross that bridge. To go through a new door. You have that opportunity, but it's your choice, right? It's your decision. I hope you're really thinking about this because you have an opportunity for stability and security and a major new beginning that could lead to a lot of abundance and success. But you have to come out of your shell. You have to wake up and you have to walk that path instead of staying where you're at. So I think that somebody is beginning to realize that there's another opportunity. They're beginning to realize that they have been stuck for so long in a situation, perhaps a third party situation, right? For example, maybe your person, whoever it is that you are waiting on, is with another person, right? And you're reluctant to let them go, thinking that if you... Stick it out that everything is going to be okay. The fact of the matter is, is that this, it's time, it's time for this. It's time for you to make this stressful decision, this painful choice. It looks like to go in a new direction. To cross that bridge. It's time to be practical. It's time to get grounded. It's time to be real. She's the queen of reality. She is. She's the queen of reality. It's try time to get real. Somebody is stuck in an unhappy situation, a third party situation, or whatever it is, thinking that if they keep waiting, it's going to happen. And the fact of the matter is, is it's not going to happen. Because whoever it is that you are pretending is coming around is fa has found somebody else. But there's still an opportunity for success here with abundance. But somebody has to refocus and... and when they refocus, come up with a plan of how they're actually going to walk through that new door. And maybe when they really, really refocus and reevaluate this situation in true form, with no mask, they will realize that there's another opportunity waiting for them. There is another opportunity here. There is another opportunity for love, a major new beginning Whatever it is that you are pretending that is going to come back around, it's over. It's done. It is done. It's not going to come back around. But denial is huge. A lot of people that are like, no, no, it's not done. <laughs> That's the meaning of this card, okay? No, 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 it's not done. Yes, 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 it is. You're in denial. You're conflicted. And it's time to stop playing games. It's time to move in a new direction. Instead of staying put like you have been. Baby steps. Take steps in that new direction. Away from the conflict. Away from the third party situation, away from the unhappiness, away from the place where you're not getting anything. You're dealing with somebody who's not giving you anything, nothing. But staying there, wearing that mask because 
You don't want to believe it. Yeah, you do need to find your strength, don't you? Find your strength, find your willpower to let go. You can face this. You have the power. Master your emotions. Find that force within you. And be practical and head in a new direction. Find the strength to learn the lesson that there's a lesson out of this. The world card is always a lesson learned. Find the strength to accept that this was a lesson. <laughs> Karma, lesson. Karmic, lesson. This was a karmic lesson, right? It was a karmic lesson that came into your life to make you find your strength, your self-worth, your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your courage. This karmic lesson, whatever it is, is has was brought to you to learn strength. Inner strength. To make you stronger. It's time to make something final. This is finality. Make that decision. Decision. The very this card and this card. It's time to make it. And this is a decision. To make the decision that you know you need to make that you've been. Denying, okay? You've been denying it. It's time to make that decision so that justice can be served in your favor and you can learn this karmic set lesson that says, I'm strong enough. I know what I'm worth. I have the courage. I have the power. So we have a karmic lesson here that needs to be learned and it has to do with strength finding learning strength to know your worth your beauty we have a major new beginning on the horizon for those of you that have found the strength to let go of this denial for those of you that have found the strength to let go of whatever it is that you're lying to yourself about there's an opportunity for success victory in something very balanced, harmonious. And exciting to come into your life. There's an exciting new opportunity waiting for you to accept it. But you're your own worst enemy, right? You're your own worst enemy. You have the power to let go of a dead-end situation. All you have to do is let it go. Walk away from whoever this person is or whatever this situation is that's not giving you anything. So I feel like today is a day of making the decision. Are you ready? Are you ready to cross that bridge? Are you? Are you ready to cross that bridge? Go through that new door. Once you get to the other side of that bridge, it's gone. It's over. That's your choice. Are you ready? Because beyond 
when you get to the end, there's a new opportunity. But you have to do the right thing. A lot of you are in denial about what the right thing is, right? You absolutely are. Dreaming, thinking that the love that you want with a name on it is going to come around. That's not the case. There's another opportunity for love here. There is another opportunity. But you have to take action. And if you don't take action and find your strength to let go of whatever this is where you're not being getting what you want, then you're throwing away an opportunity. No courage. No courage to move forward. It's like you're not taking action to bring balance to your life when there's an opportunity to bring balance to your life. There's an opportunity to get what you deserve, which could be beautiful, beautiful lot, very abundant, successful. But you need to really wake up. You need to wake. Somebody needs to wake up here. Stalling. Big time. Big time. It's over. You have a new beginning here waiting for you to accept it. Whatever it is that you have been pretending is going to come back around is over. It's done. It, release it and move on. Because you have a new beginning here. A major new beginning, okay? That you deserve. With somebody that is going to put in equal effort. Time to take back your control. That's the devil reverse. Take back your control. Release. Release, release, release. Take back your power. Go over that bridge, through that new door. There's an opportunity for a major, major new beginning here that could lead to victory and success. Something very long-term, solid, and stable. You're about to, for those of you that have found the strength to walk over that bridge and stop being in denial, there's a major new beginning here that leads to extreme success. Seriously, with the world card and the ten of pentacles, extreme success. But you need to take back control. I think there's a new connection here waiting for you to accept it. I do. A new connection in love. Some of you are still holding on to something that once at one time it was love. But that love is gone now. That love is gone now and you don't want to believe it. This is the romance of a lifetime. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. There is an opportunity for true love here. But it's not with the one. It's not with the one that hurt you. It's with somebody new. This is the five of cups reversed. It's with somebody new. And I know a lot of you are in so much denial, you don't want to hear that. But the truth is, there's somebody else with the Five of Cups. There is. There is. But when you're in this much denial, you refuse to believe it. You're reluctant to move on. You stay stuck. And you, in the Three of Cups, you continue to be unhappy. The Three of Cups reversed. There's no reunion with this person that you are pretending loves you. There's no reunion. They don't. They're, they're not in love with you. And you have an opportunity for true love in a new direction if you could take that mask off, accept the truth, and move on.
So anyway, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here, a transformation after release. There's a karmic lesson that involves finding the strength to let go. Once you find the strength to let go, you will find your true love. And that is what I have for today. So today, it's about making a decision to accept the truth, stop holding on, and cross that bridge. That's what I see. For some of you, some of you are in the process of making that decision to say, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to pretend anymore. That's where some of you are at. Some of you aren't, the very first card. Some of you aren't. I mean, some of you are like, you know what? I'll pretend. I'm going to keep pretending. Okay? That's where some of you are at. You, re you need to take a time out. And it is. It's a time of reflection. So anyway, I feel like today is a day of taking back your power and crossing that bridge, starting a whole new life with that world card. Seriously, a whole new life path, a whole new journey, a whole new chapter, big one. Cross that bridge and start that new chapter. Good luck. This is the romance of a lifetime. It's not with who you're in denial about, okay? It's not. Don't get that. I know a lot. That, when you're in denial, that's what you think, right? So this does work out for this over on this side too. It does. You think that this is the romance of a lifetime. But any person that doesn't communicate with you, that doesn't give to you, that is making you feel insecure, that is bringing conflict into your life, that is involving you in a game, is involving you in an insecure situation. Any person that is doing that does not love you and you're in denial. Thinking that's true love. That ain't true love, okay? That ain't. There's an opportunity for true love here with somebody. If you could take that mask off, cross that bridge, and go for it. Go for it. My advice is to, to go for it. Stop lying 